What are you hear? What do you say? Great game boys? equals great content. What's Thanks, up? Tommy. What's up? I welcome thee to the great game two. Today you clicked on the Tommy K channel. We're playing Hoi 4. We're playing the great game. We had a 1v1 great game. We had the Battle Royale great game. And now we finally do what Hoi 4 is kind of meant to be. And that is Axis versus Allies. Jesus, man. So the mod we have chosen is the finest bra. We're talking about a price pool of currently 2.5k. But as you can see, it's going to go up, I, I think. We're having eight Axis players against eight allied players the host is our boy train and that is that the rule set is in the chat if you want to know what the fuck's happening uh a little explanation all these people have been randomized i put these 60 names in a pot and randomized the teams so you can't fucking make three teams and stuff also uh they could choose four major nations but the other four nations like hungary and fucking rush and canada have been randomly chosen to display we have a very random game here I wanted to have it random. It's time to do this Cushy. shit and to show all the End Twitch an lobbies and all these just the chatting time. casino bitches that today Hoi 4 takes over. It's time to find out who is the better team, Axis versus Allies. Tommy K life. Anyway, uh, we have a sub mod here made for us where certain things like Brazil is already pre annexed and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. We're all here. We've over the rules. Obama commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Uh, say nice things to each other. Let's go. Come on. Hey, uh, GG, boys. Let's have a great game. Let's, Let's have, have a great game. game. <laughs> 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 good luck. Good luck. Welcome to the great game 2, 19th of July. My final big event before I'm becoming a dad next week. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the fucking great game 2022, man. Yeah, let's take a look at our boy Leonard representing the USC today. Very important. I think also a very, yeah, very vanilla tree. No communism. Opens up the New Deal, obviously. Super basic opener here. Very interesting. He has the next Mexico and Brazil. That has been determined by the players. Don't even worry about that. Let's take a look at our boy UK. Already going into modern heavy batteries here. Showing behavior regarding uh, Navy, man. Very, very interesting. Also, I think very vanilla is the focus tree here. Looks much bigger, actually, than vanilla. This focus tree looks very tempered. They're doing tech juggling. Ah, they're doing tech juggling. Oh, here we have the first meme. Yes, which is... That's that's in the rules. They can do that. If you let this untouched and the, the, the green line goes full for 75 days, you can then do any research into this one and you lose 30 days of that research. It's a bit of an... Uh, you could say an exploit that it hasn't been in the rules and now it is what it is. And it takes a bunch of skill. You have to be careful with that. It's 75 days in this mod. So they can tech juggle 75 days away. If they juggle it well, they can save a lot of time for research. We're gonna take a look at Nave. Nave, an amazing player, man. One of the best, dude. That guy is a fucking crazy player. Uh, we see that in this mod, we have very, very different Italy tree, man. I mean, no one wants to play with the uh, vanilla Italy tree, man. That's for sure. Not even the fucking single player normies. A big thing. Let's take a look at... Our boy Bittersteel and Dankus, man. What the fuck happening on Russia? Russia is gonna, in my opinion, be the big question here. If Russia plays amazing uh, or if Russia plays bad, we'll decide a lot. And we already, already have a... Oh, my God. The point about Dankus is, though, yes, he's strong. Yes, Dankus knows what he's doing. But Dankus is the most predictable player in the world. Heavy tanks, shitty infantry, hiding behind the river. Maybe in eight hours, they will easily win on Russia here, and we will all say it's broken. But the Axis had everything given to them in the way that they had to prepare for this, that they could prepare for this. They know exactly what Dankus is doing. Uh, a little disclaimer here for a bunch of normies that don't know this. In this mod, there's no China player. In this mod, the developers made it that China is AI, but very strong. Trust me, if you're not good at the game, this China will wreck you. And I can guarantee you El Bowser trained his ass off to shit on China here. Oh, by the way, in this mod, you have propaganda campaigns. In this mod, the developers gave every nation propaganda campaigns. You maybe know them from No Step Back. Everyone can have certain buffs for a while. For example, Germany with that Deutsche Student or for example, are getting weekly stability, France not running one, Italy running in Flammis Flama, getting army XP. But we have our first big thing in the game, the Spanish Civil War is around us. War, you can see a nice front line here already drawn by Alyosha, defending the north, making a nice cut here with the river. He knows the south is too hard to, um, to defend, especially when the 
Russian volunteers are coming for your ass. And already we see Alyosha on Spain doesn't take any prisoners. He's going for quick encirclements. He doesn't want to drag this out. He doesn't want to grind long. Already the Barcelona encirclement cleaning the Bilbao encirclement. It is going to be interesting to see where the Russians are. They are starting to work on the southeast. One division down here. I think that's a spawn division from the event. I am not And the prize pool just reached $3,500, man. Mama fucking mia. Thank you very much for supporting Hoi4 on fucking Hoi4 Esports on Twitch. Thank you for 500 fucking dollars. That money goes to the boys. Uh, we see supply issues here. Obviously, a very interesting thing about this that we're playing no step back. We have supply depots, we have railways, and we have supply issues, man. And these Italians are not getting stopped by French, they're getting stopped by supply. And supply, I think, a great DLC. Um, and you see that taking supply depots like Chuenka or whatever the fuck, I'm gonna get messages that I said that wrong, are so important. In a second, it will be connected with Madrid, and the, all the supply in the region belongs to Italy. It was a great example here, and you see how we push six divisions. That supply depots are everything, man. It's gonna be very interesting to see Germany versus Russia. Uh, oh, we have a green bubble of the axis. This could be three kills already. Is he retreating? Let's take a look here. Is my boy Dankus retreating? Oh, this is dangerous. Who is arriving first? Beautiful pin here from Ueska. Three Mountaineers pins. These are good Mountaineers. This is no trash. And this looks out like our first instrument. Oh lord, he gets one out. Can he get two out? He got them all out. He got them all out. As we stated before, I think uh, Italy is doing a great job here. He's really turning on Valencia, trying to split Spain in half. Mad pressure here on the Allies. The big question of the Spanish Civil War, though, is always, and I know there's a lot of normal guys watching days that don't watch a lot of multiplayer, the question is not wins. A big question about Spain is how much XP do you get out of it? How much air and army XP will you make in Spain? That's a very important thing, especially with the new DLC. Army XP equals taking uh, doctrines and upgrading units. Yeah, so we have the deletion here of Dankus' volunteers, gets them out, takes no damage, but that means Spain is gone. But that is the win for Yosha Spain here. Beautifully played by the mm -hmm. Axis. I mean, the Allies couldn't do much. They tried. Beautiful uh, attempt here by Dankus to get in Strokeman. Too much pressure, though. Italy really putting the pressure on Valencia, and that in the end will culminate into a strong Axis Spain here. Japan, obviously very interesting to me as the former best Japan of all times. We all know that. Kohei Shidan Divisions is a 30 with massively strong soft attack division. Big, that is, man. <laughs> Fucking 8 artillery. It's normal artillery, not heavy headquarters no field hospitals yet that are coming right now focus wise he's still a bit away he's building collaborative government in china which means he gets the peace deal over china quicker so already a good opener for the axis man getting a very very strong spanish civil war still xp went to russia went to france and xp on russia it was truly scary here i mean dankus is what i have seen in my life the best russia i've ever seen and um this xp is gonna help russia a shit ton on germany Infl Infiltrating army, infiltrating civilian administration, and looking to capture some ciphers, man. It's it's very interesting to see, in my opinion. I fucking love that. That Lagos Tonks content, that spy content, uh, is seeing a play in, in competitive game, man. Uh, they're really trying to steal blueprints from each other. I think that's amazing, dude. I want to see what Australia is up to. If I would ever play... Oh, we see artillery gun support. Uh, already doing the best railway gun, rushing it. And we all know that if you bombard with railway gun, you give 10% modifying bonuses to your allies. Looking to support his teammates here and now we have the right music man marco polo incident japan versus ai china he's playing without planning bonus i think you could consider that a bit of a mistake i mean he's still winning but missing a big planning bonus another information for you the viewer is that in this mod china gets waves after japan pushes in a bit there is unit spawning for China. And trust me when I say this, you need to be good Japan to win here, man. Already stepping over the river, man. Having no problems here. Looking very good. He might make it look easy and you guys might... But dude, trust me. This needs training and he knows exactly what he's doing. And especially with 700 fucking cast, dude. There's seven little round of what people are doing. And even though I think it's still early to check. Uh, man, crazy research on the US. Going massively into Navy. It looks like we're going to see a big bombing game. Everybody and their mom is just going for bombers. A lot of cruisers. Hulls, 1946 being made and heavy ships being made. This USA is very, very serious. This is so interesting to me, man. I, I, they obviously know more than me, man. They're not doing any fighters at the moment. And this guy is just building strat bombers like a madman. 50 fucking mils on strat bomber ones, man. Invasion of Shanghai. AI not protecting it much. It's, uh, once again, his basic divisions. Doesn't even need the marines for this. Beautiful invasion here in Shanghai. So far, no railway taken by the AI, but careful, man. As long as no railway is taken, it's good. Oi, 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 oi. Is he okay? Uh-oh. 
Sometimes you can even argue that players want AI to come in like this so that you can circle them. I don't know if it looked like that, but he gets obviously mad kills from this. We didn't check Rush in a while, that is true, because I fucking know what he's doing. Everybody knows what the fuck he's doing, this Muppet. We see a lot of armored trains. We see an armored train meta here, which is interesting. There has been a video that changed the meta a lot that, that kind of showed, man, you are taking zero logistic damage, man, if you have armored uh, trains. And we have the KB1 chassis. Yes. Oh my God, look at that industry. He just switched. You just saw it live. Oh, mamma mia. The basic dank is built, boys. Every Russian kit, man and woman, is building fucking KV1s, man. That looks scary. And Anschluss has happened. A nice little uh, bonus here for the industry for Germany. And yeah, the big question for Japan here must be, how do I handle this supply issue, man? The coastline looks great for him. And still doing nice progress. But, dude, getting into middle China. Ooh, Canada with the anti-tank 2 build here. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's not. He's building that. What the fuck? Oh, well, man, that guy is very one-dimensional, which seems to work. It is mechanized with cruiser MK2 chassis. And other than that, Germany not building anything interesting yet. A lot of fighter ones, but I'm gonna get I'm getting a bit scared for our Germany player here when we take a look at what the UK is building. And he has the same mills, even more on fighter twos. The Hawker type food, which is cast two, cast two now even. And a 75% bonus on fighter threes, man. Still 841 days away, but 75 bonus, mamma mia. It's gonna start looking a bit grim here for the axis, but let's see. We don't know yet. And yeah, Japan just slowly taking this down. Let's take a look at focus three here a bit oh the sudetenland is done czechoslovakia is taken which unlocks medium tools for hungary tanks are almost right, equipped man their stats must be going up right now ay, 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 ay. someone prepared himself my boy lucifer has prepared a division that has right. one purpose only that is to break through your asshole dude ay 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 Medi gonna be a bit in trouble here man and if they kill Medi, they can already kick a very good player out Medi is not allowed to save divisions here he must defend france he is showing good anti-tank and to be honest i don't know if Medi is in so much uh danger here Medi is showing us a very very nice uh, anti-tank template which is a 26 piercing template and if we compare that here to the tank 22 armor man very very close man but it's crystal clear that this france is ready to shit on these tanks Yes, these tanks have breakthrough. Yes, these tanks are going habubalamba, but they are also dying in the process, man. These are like, you know that bee that fucks and dies in the process? That's them. Weird. Um, in the Paradox Universe, most importantly, of course. Can I fucking talk, man? A thousand dollars? Are you fucking serious? And World War II is happening. The world is at war. Poland should not be a problem here. Germany easily going in uh, ireland gets capitulated instantly here it's a little event same with south africa they are fully next from the beginning and germany just rushing through here poland no problem obviously question is how many german tanks will die to the anti-tank gunners of france that is the first big question we have to ask here today and we already have red air from germany here getting bombed already germany having issues the bumble ones are coming in not much damage is done we just see a bunch of rubber going down and the rhineland supply depot japan finished his china war now at 500 factories almost as strong as the us the emperor's economy is being called mamma mia oh, did he just finish around the benelux in a second apparently that's a really fast focus and yeah these tanks are insane man very interesting to see what these players come up with man he just makes a straight up assault tank massive equipment and we are open let's take a look how france is standing here he's standing in the forest tile forest tile and obviously the river here a great bonus against tanks we have a winter war we have a winter war gentlemen shit is happening uh you guys love finland fan favorite here it's our boy norbert uh he can't really do much he got foreign support uh, focus giving equipment but it's just basic infantry man the main battle let's take a look back at germany who is looking for strength record doesn't break through here's the assault tanks crazy breakthrough but massive debuffs 20 percent exceed in combat with 40 terrain 30 supply issue big supply issue here doing great damage and france seems to hold this uh after this battle is done we're gonna take a look at the kills quick little look here uh north finland obviously taken you should only defend south finland as finland yellow massive air war here uh sharing kind of equal kills i would say the tiger now done for germany amazing battling how much cast support 200 cast damage for germany but both sides having nice cast here the supply is still 20 percent debuff but seems to be breaking through now here oh 60 gets the breakthrough gets the breakthrough ladies and gentlemen we have a game on our hands the breakthrough tanks beautiful design probably prepared for weeks to break through this we have the white piece here 
uh, Karelia gone historically. Finland still alive. Will assault Russia later. But we have the break for here. And these Frenchies are not entrenched right now. Medi is getting some very, very nice kills here. But, ladies and gentlemen, it is very important to understand that Germany is throwing meme tanks at this. This is an assault tank. This tank will not be used in, 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 in Russia, man. He still has 40 mils on it, sure. Uh, he's got to go with heavy tanks into... Oh, almost encircled. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Careful there. Oh, oh. Italy's defending in the south. Italy invading in the south. Oh, my God. Trying to open on the front line. They got to protect Germany. Germany having big issues. His fighters are just rapidly going down. It's just fighter ones. His motorized going down. Issues are arising here. An Africa war is starting here. But the Allies really taking their time. Uh, Italy taking West France. Northwest Africa. And Reims falling now. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. Reims was open. Reims is not a forest tile. And you see that in the planes, these tanks are amazing. The big issue here was really the forest. But he managed to do it, man. Applause for Lucifer trying his best here. Gets the green air, which is blowing my mind. With what air is he doing that? 1,000 fucking planes down. Even now going down in tanks. Maddy is starting to pierce the shit out of these tanks. The the anti-tank will beautiful. 1.2k dead tanks. If if Lucifer doesn't end this soon, he's gonna be in major trouble. The fall of Paris is gonna be huge here. He really needs that supply he pulled up. As I said, the longer this war goes on, the more Germany and the Axis will be in a massive, massive issue. Yes, Italy is trying something. The Allies not going for Africa. West North Africa belong to Italy. Is Italy actually able to save everyone's tits here? The encirclement will be broken. Beautiful push by Italy. Romania now getting involved here. It's getting interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, Lyon might be about to fall. The France player needs to send stuff. Let's take a look at his POV. He's not sending anything. It's getting overwhelming. Don doesn't have nothing set up here. This shows Matty is a bit overwhelmed. Hashtag no co-op, man. I love it. Fuck having five co-ops. Beautifully done. Yes, the Northern defense is insane. But now the trouble is starting, man. Romania, Italy, and Bulgaria saying, hey, Germany. Let me carry that. And Italy just breaking through massively, man. This could be the end of France. Germany still having big issues, man. The defense is just massive. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what Germany has to offer for late game here. Dankus is Russia, man. It's just so strong. Imagine those encircled. Imagine those encircled, yeah. France will fall. A big question, how much equipment will Germany get out of this? And the final battle of Paris is coming. Germany might take, yeah, he might take back his uh, Eisenbahn Batterie 712. And boys, we still have a game going on, man. And beautifully played by Medi, giving no equipment away. Wow. Well done. The game even thinks, bro, I think Italy deserves some shit. They might have to give that away. Will we see in Africa? That's interesting. I kind of feel like they're just going to ignore it because Germany needs big recovery. But it's nice to see Tiger Tanks are on their way, man. But this game starts to look to me like a game of Japan at the minors. Romania, uh, Discord Pixels, amazing tanks. Bulgaria and especially Japan have to do something here. We have the annexation of, this is an event in the game, Siam and Vietnam taken. Yeah, Whoa, Ethiopia down. True. Belgium. Belgium AI. <laughs> The Belgium AI is like, bro, if you don't want an Africa war, I'm fucking fixing this. Paradox, Dan Lind has logged in. And the deuxième division de la infanterie. <laughs> That's funny, I like that. I'm a big fan of that, dude. Uh, it looks like the UK gets out nicely. Well done by the UK. Not gonna give any kills away. He knows he's done here, so he gets the fuck out. No kills. But no way going down. It's not the real gold. Okay, we're having a little hot join round. We're getting our first co-caster, Golden. Golden, kind of the guy that slowly takes over Bokuen one day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the guy I that plays this mod a lot. Don't you guys always play this mod, man? Yeah, this is what we do like 99% of the time. Yeah. In your games, do you ever feel there's a balance towards some faction? Uh, I mean, right now it is really allied favored. But the Germany player is not doing himself any favors. I've only seen bits and pieces, but my god. There's just, uh, a lot of throwing. Hungary also going for amphibious tanks. Even the upgraded ones, man. Very, very far away. These guys want to clear this. Naval invasions, boys. I think that's what's going on. Oh, Horotius battleship, boys. Here we have it, man. It's a heavy tank with Amtrak's, man. Holy shit. 
Look at that bad boy. Great soft attack. Unbelievable break. Crazy stats. As we see, he's very, very heavy now on Tiger tanks. Uh, chat. Uh, tanks that are a bit better than the Russian tanks. We see the Fighter 2 is probably not enough. Yeah, and class 2. Germany is recovering after all, though. And we see a lot of amphibious tractors, man. Invasion behavior, man. And maybe they realize that the river in Russia, or overall, thanks to this Russia build, is very, if not impossible, to be breaking, broken. And so maybe naval invasions or river bonuses are what they need man the entire game kind of comes down to how do you break dankus's heavy tanks man that is what it really comes down to singapore defense looking great this is not a game where they i like that normally in these competitive games oh, let's just ignore singapore give it away but they're fighting for it and these australian mountaineers look mad fine prince india also with great defense here his marines don't have any support companies they don't even have headquarters they're just pioneer battalions i thought about that before yeah i don't know if you forgot it Oh, he's planning something, but yeah, these Marines are not very updated. And here it is, Japan declares war on all the allies. We have a Japan war, man. He does not. The U.S. fleet's actually out in the Mariana region. That's a bold move. If he fights the U.S. Oh, fleet with Tora yeah. Tora. Already we see some submarine kills here. And Japan already with little, little mini victories here. Bombing, bombing these submarines, man. Beautiful air use here. Now, and oh, here he cycled the invasion and now easily gets Guam. Beautifully done. Four kills, four divisions okay. down for the u.s beautiful landing with the cycling well well done both fleets are here boys it's suicidal if he takes a battle with the u.s right now i there's almost no way the u.s wins to understand chat uh when japan begins the war he has the Tora 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 bonus which just makes his fleet unkillable until 16th of december this year boss is happening boys we're going in germany seems very unprepared here having to fight this so let's take it's just heavy it's just heavy tanks boys it's just dankus heavy tanks all day long he played this tactic for two years and i'm kind of hoping that someone can show him the ropes here man this it looks like he expeditionaried out his tanks i don't see them anywhere oh they're in the south they're in the south they're in the south he has a lot of tanks in the south he's actually micro them but yeah germany does not feel ready that is crystal clear um the the defeat the, the almost defeat in france really cost him a lot of time and dankus let's just Strong as ever, these heavy tanks are ready to really make people very, very sad. The supply, obviously an issue, but once the Sharkazi supply hub is in, it's gonna look much better. And now comes the real fight. Dank is instantly reacting. The moment he gets back, he's just reacting and he's They're instantly... just outclassed. Those tanks are just outclassed. Oh my God. I mean, the Germans have been trenched They just arrived, they have attrition issues. But Dank is just like, get your tanks away from here. It texts in Sharkazi and instantly pushes that back. Oh my god, look back at the Soviet Union. He's about to get wrap trapped. It's not pretty. Oh no, there's about to be a devastating play right now coming in from Dankus. He's about to encircle the entire Romanian and front. I, oh I, my I god. This, this is, oh this my is not god. even balance. They are pushing so much in here while there's no supply. They're moving in when there's no <laughs> supply. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, that's horrible. Let me go. That's fucking horrible. Let me go. Jesus Christ, man. Just a bunch of infantry, though. No tanks down yet, man, but they gotta get the fuck out of here. And Jadank is just running in. Doesn't even need air. Doesn't give a fuck, man. This is called. Oh, no. Oh, it, I, I think it's Dover. I think and that's that. that is, there's a lot of German tanks. That is six German tanks, ladies and gentlemen. He's got no transport planes. He's not supplying any of the divisions. Oh. There's no supply. This is fully dead. Yeah, oh, and there they go. Uh, and there it goes. Mia. That is a massive kill. I think eight tanks just died. That is pretty much most tigers down. Three tigers left. Oh, good. I killed half their tanks in this one. Oh, that's good. That's good. I can go up now with their tanks. It's fine. It's fine. He's pulling south. He's drawing down south. Fucking yeast blocks, Hunter! Sorry if that caught you off guard, man, but... That was such a eSports play, man. And then, oh my god. Orbit is still saw the opening. He went in, no supply here. Um, a, a massive mistake from the <laughs> Axis. And a beautiful <laughs> exploitation of that mistake by Dankus, who is showing once again he is just the greatest rusher here. The tactic is fucking insane, but he's, you gotta give him credit. He is always uh, executing his tactic very, very well. But that Dankus was doesn't even have full strength there. He, he still needs another two doctrines, and he forgot to swap off to operational reserves and bayonet strength. He needed that supply grace when he was pushed up too far. So that was Dankus with him forgetting to put his supply grace in. And if that's what he can do without having full doctrine, who knows what he's going to do now. And here comes the push. Dankus is making no health matters. He's like, bro, if you give me this opportunity, I will end the game here. Get the win. Get the money. Uh, Japan a bit stalemated here. But this game ends right now in Romania. There is one thing that could potentially save the German player. 
As of now, Dankus is a little tunnel visioned alongside was Bitter Steel, right? His co-op. And they have not touched the industry, so their industry is completely frozen right now. They're making uh, 11 KV-1s, but everything else, like, they're sitting on a huge penalty on their lack of resources. So if the German player really plays macro well, which he doesn't have, he hasn't demonstrated that at any point today. But if he doesn't, that he could, got could come back. Trying to save it here, Hungary is fighting his ass off, but the Hungarian tanks... Yeah, Apparently, that's... Hungary is not motorized the supply. He's under 100 supply status. Uh-oh. Oh, Hungary forgetting to motorize himself. Yes, Hungary not in motorized supply. Oh my god. Step by step, my dear, dear livestream <laughs> chat, we're seeing more moments text from the Axis here. I want to give them credit, man. It's much harder for the Axis to win here. You got to have make less mistakes. People mm -hmm. like Russia can get away with mistakes, but they're, they're starting to pile up, unfortunately. And Russian tanks are just doing what they want to, even though Germany is in a buff state right now, man. Yeah, yeah, going, 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 going. That's fine, go get in there. Pin, 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 kill the infantry. Move, 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 move. Good shit, man. Belgian micro, eSport. eSport, amna. Great, let's take a look at Japan. Japan falling apart in India, unfortunately. Might have to even Oh my god. Soon. I didn't even see that. The Canadian tanks and the Indian mountaineers doing a great job here. It is looking grim. He has the air on his side here in Siam and Vietnam, but boy, oh boy, he actually needs a miracle. Let's uh, just run someone. Oh, D Day already happening. Oh, USA D Day, gentlemen. I think we're going to have a World Warcraft stream tonight. The USA, together with the UK, uh, is just landing on a very, very undefended France. The tanks yeah, they're, they're the right up Paris right now, but all of the Atlantic is getting slaughtered. It, theoretically, if the Germans are able to kill every single one of the Marines, he would buy himself a lot of time. But let's see. This is up to eight tanks here from the Axis. They are doing amazing against infantry. Can they figure this out? Can they get massive kills here? It, it seems like a lack of preparation with the mod, though, from the Axis. Like, Italy hasn't even done integrate any of the states. He, he hasn't Italianized France. He hasn't Italianized Yugoslavia or Greece. In, in Ukraine when they got encircled, they didn't even wait for the supply hubs to get converted. In France, they don't even have the divisions properly set up. Like, I don't know what's going on with the Axis right now. They seem very afraid. The and it's starting to impact their gameplay. I, I'm, I'm gonna be real though. From what I could see from the Japan player, I don't know what he was doing with the island hopping. Because you saw how when he grabbed Guam, he was doing insane stats. But then he just sat on it and didn't go for Wake, Midway. You could even get Hawaii during Tora Tora. And I'm not sure if what the spirit is right now, but if you look at the U.S., right, they're in France, and even with them just losing one island, they're already taking an attack penalty against the Germans. Oh. Please. Come on. Oh, there's something there, there's something there. Oh, oh, oh he's taking oh. it. I'm taking Moscow. Who will reach it first? Who will reach it first? You got fucking massive attrition. Oh, okay. to is Moscow taken? <laughs> he's actually taking Moscow, bro. <laughs> that's... That, wait, that's kind of a blunder, actually. That's gonna let Denkus do his focuses. No, no, no. Fucking you should not do that. Dude. Once again, showing who he is. <laughs> oh, he's gonna... No! Oh, oh. He's the one in the metal? Nah, he's over. No, I can't take Moscow. The dream. No, the dream. I'm actually fairly impressed. They're doing a really good job. They, yeah. If if it was other people, they would have collapsed by now. Like, this is... I, I'm not... It's actually really impressive that they have... They're still holding off. The entire Eastern Front has now vanished. <laughs> The Italy capping means that there's just no divisions holding back. It's over. Steiner can still turn this around. We've got we've got five Spanish divisions. I think they could take them all. Hungarians, oh the fucking American tanks are all around this voice. Fuck, I can't I can't fucking fight two tanks on those sides. Oh god. No, 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 no. We can't allow one of us to fucking fall, man. We pinned him. There we go. Come on, get fucking north. Come on. Oh, Hungary's gone. Oh. Move up, pass. Move up, move up, pass. Look at war participation. Ah, it's war participation is really dumb in Hope 4. Should we really think about that? Yeesh, bots, man. All right. All right, capping Berlin. Good shit. GG, well played, guys. GG, well played. GG, well played. GG, well played. GG, well played. First of all, hey, boys, no one has to be ashamed of anything. Well played, everyone, man. It, it looked fucking hard. A lot of people like Lucifer won the insane pressure here, man. And you guys all did a great job, man. GG, well played, boys. Thank you. Thank you. What are your thoughts, yeah. Marcus? What are your thoughts? You heavy tank mother. I... <laughs> I was so surprised you actually could, uh, you know, predict what I was gonna do in Russia. Wow! You know? <laughs> How did I do that? Thank you very much for donations, man. You guys made this prize pool happening, man. That was really fun. This money will be giving to our winners here. And the winners are the allies, ladies and gentlemen. 
when I'm back, I want to genuinely build up Hope for Esports Organized. We're building a group. I'm going to get organizers. I'm going to get certain people to help me. I'm going to get our own month developer men. And we're going to start developing a 1v1 league. We're going to look more into team games. I think this has been a great experience where we can see that Axis vs. Ice is interesting, but so hard to balance. Uh, and it's a bit cooler for me to go to the Battle Royale. The, the Great Game 1, the Battle Royale Great Game, just overall seemed cooler to me, I feel like. Yeah, I think I want to explore that a bit more. That was a Great Game 2, maybe a bit anticlimactic. I still think we should be positive about this. Big fun, man. Shout out to all the players who did a great job. Uh, that was really big fun, man.